Hey, what's up everybody? Can't talk. My ISO it's expiring, so I gotta do some leveling up fast. Uh, Alright, so where can I dump the ISO the fastest? Well, it's gonna be with the six star champions. We're gonna be doing a, a few level ups uh, right now, but uh, first things first, let me dump this ISO and then we can chat. Actually, I think I'm just gonna sell some of the lower level ISO and I'll just keep the, uh, the higher ISO bricks and we'll just clear this stuff out. I wanna make sure that I don't um, you know, I, ha I have plenty of ISO, um, so I don't, <laughs> it's not, it's not a huge loss to just be selling this instead of, um, using it, uh, as long as I'm selling the smaller bricks and I'll put the, uh, the larger bricks to use and that'll be fine. It's like a race against the clock though, cause look at this, I even do have these larger bricks that will be going away, so, alright, you know what? Uh, uh, ah, let's, let's go find a champion, man! I also have over 40 tier 2 alphas that are expiring, so we're gonna do some serious rank ups right now. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, uh, pull up the tech 5 star champions, and where is she at? There we go, okay, team 2099. Uh, let's go ahead and rank her up. And let's, let's feed this ISO as fast as possible, man. Okay, I saved the tech ISO, and we're basically all leveled up here. There's no time! You know what, I'm gonna sell everything except for Cosmic. Whew, I didn't let any ISO expire. I did have to sell a little bit more ISO than I wanted, but uh, we saved it. We at least got to convert that stuff into gold. You actually get a lot of gold from selling ISO. Um, which right now, I, it looks like I have a lot of gold, but uh, listen, I've been here before. I, I've been at a point where I'm like, oh, dude, I'm I'm rich. I have gold for days, and then literally, yeah, it's only gold for days. A few days later, I'm broke again, and I have to do a lot of ranking up. If we take a look at these catalysts, I'm gonna claim a few of these, but you know, I still have nearly 40 tier two alphas uh, in the overflow, along with an abundance of other rank of materials. These materials, I also know. Uh, this is kind of an unusual situation. All of these materials came from completing Act 6 100%. I, I still have to be careful with how I use these resources because this, this situation is not really going to happen again uh, with this number of Tier 2 Alphas at least. First things first though, I do have these 6 star champions that are, are pretty fresh, rank 1, level 1s, except for uh, Cole Obsidian here who I was able to uh, to level up a bit. We're gonna finish this off and finish ranking up the other six stars and then we'll get to talking a little bit more about what my plans are and why I'm ranking up the champions that I am ranking up. So let's go ahead and uh, claim the rest of the cosmic ISO needed and uh, I'll rank up Cole. Excuse me, I meant to say level up. I'm not actually gonna be ranking this guy up. He's gonna sit at Rank 1, uh, level 25 for now, and uh, you know, when I get some some spare time, I'll go and mess with the champion a bit, try him out in some content. Um, I don't think he's going to go to rank 2 anytime soon, but you never know. Alright, let's go uh, rank up the next champ. Alright, there we go, my 6 star Ronin is now at level 25 as well. And last on the list of 6 stars is Abomination. Look at this beautiful creature. What has Kabam done to you? Why are you not stronger, Abomination? Though I appreciate that your abilities are easy to avoid when I'm playing against you. You the real MVP. Ah oh, man, that's too bad, Abomination. Take a look at that, man. We were short on the tier 4 science catalyst, so I can't take you to rank 2. I'm so sorry, man. What's that? The rank up gems? Uh, also, I never went back and ranked up Guillotine, so here we go. Now Guillotine is, uh, is rank 4. And now I think we're ready to start talking about kind of the, the plans, what I'm doing with, with all of these rank up resources that are in the overflow. Let's, let's figure this out. I like to wait as long as possible normally when I'm ranking up champions. This way I can take a look at the content that's coming and then rank up my champions to counter that content as best as possible. But of course, you can't wait forever and I've got these resources expiring and I want to make sure that I use enough of them that I don't risk losing any of them. It doesn't come down to a scramble like it just did with my ISO. So I want to use all of the tier 2 alphas that have 5 days remaining on them at least. Uh, then we can see on the right side there I have one that's expiring in 7 days and then they go to, to 8 days. So let's see how many in total uh, I still have left. So each row is 7 um, plus uh, three on this other row plus let's throw in that one there that that's seven day on it so I've got 11 
that I need to use. Um, so okay, that's that's pretty pretty easy to do. Um, I think it's seven of them when ranking up six star champions, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, seven, and then we, we could take another five star champion up to rank four. Or we can choose to go about it differently. We don't have to be super careful about it or anything. It doesn't have to be the exact number. It's just I want to use at least 11 of these things. So could also choose to rank up five star champions. Um, you know, a couple of them to uh, to rank five, perhaps. Because uh, I do have, uh, in addition to the tier two alpha, uh, it's less visible here, but I do have some tier five basic in the overflow as well. So I've got three there, and I believe I have another two. If we scroll down, yeah, there we go. So I've got five uh, in total. So uh, I want to use at least uh, at least these three uh, as well, since these have these have eight days on it. The other ones uh, still good on the other ones for a solid 25 days. So what do you do if you can already counter all of the current content in the game, and you have to make this rank up decision without knowing what's coming in the future? Well you got a few options. Number one, you could just rank for fun. You know, purely just because you like the champion. And I may do some of that here. Uh, I feel like Mojo, that I just recently pulled, um, he fits that category. Uh, he's not even awakened, and yet I enjoy playing Mojo so much when I got to, got to test him out. I feel like he's a champion that I just want to have at rank 5. Uh, if not now, then at least at some point. And hey, if I'm going to do it at some point, I could do it now. Or I can rank up champions that I know I'm going to invest to in the future, like let's say Omega Red here, who is currently rank 1, but I know that eventually I'm going to take this guy up to rank 3, so I might as well get the ball rolling on that. So this is a possibility as well. Or I can look to my roster as a whole and try to figure out what my weaknesses are. And as we take a look here, you know, I don't see too many champions that have the slow ability. I also don't see too many uh, champions that are maxed out in the skill category. So someone like Stealth Spidey kind of makes sense. Even though, I, I to be totally honest with you guys, I, I don't really enjoy playing Stealth Spidey. But I acknowledge that there will be times where there's a decent chance that this guy, he's going to help me out, man. He brings some, uh, you know, unique abilities to the table that... Um, could be potentially really helpful. So this is also a candidate. The last thing to consider, uh, I would say, is also what tier 4 class catalyst I have. Now I have tier 4 class catalyst crystals, but there's always that situation where, let's say, uh, I need, what's, uh, I want to pull some science catalyst, and I can open up 20 crystals and only get one or two science catalysts out of that and I could start overflowing on other resources. So I think before we move on, I'm going to pop open some tier 4 class catalyst crystals and just kind of see where we're at. So right now the uh, the class that I'm stacked on most is mutant, but uh, again I do have that omega red to rank up, so we can, we can really open up a decent number of these crystals. Uh, let's go ahead and pop, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe 20 or 30 of these things. Maybe we'll start with 20, uh, and, and we'll see where we go from there. So, drop rates, just to, just to check. E okay, weird, 100%. Okay, I would have never guessed it. Alright, uh, let's pop these things open. Of course, of course, that <laughs> that's what happens. Uh, like I was just saying, we're already starting to pile on the mutant ones, but like I said, it's also fine because I do have... Uh, Omega Red to rank up. And here we go. It all balances out uh, in the end. Now we have those science ones. Now we're pulling in some of the other class types as well. I don't even know if I'm looking for anything in particular here. I'm just... I, I, it's inevitable that I have to pop these open. So I'm kind of just seeing, okay, uh, what is the game going to give me? And then I'll react to that. So, all right. Popped open 30 of these things. Um, looks like I'm probably going to have some mutants in the overflow, which means that Omega Red rank up uh, is likely going to happen now. He's likely going to go to rank 2. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of the stash and see how that's kind of shaping up. It's awesome that Kabam recently increased the cap on these things too, man, because otherwise it would have been a much more painful process. Allowed me to just be a little bit more free with opening up those crystals. Feels good. And now I'm actually sitting pretty even on all the class types except for Mutant. Let's see how many I have in the overflow. I think there should be two. 
yep, just two in the overflow, which means we can now uh, kind of safely go ahead and rank up um, this six-star Omega Red, which I was likely going to do uh, anyway. But, uh, you know, that this is going to use seven, which means uh, it'll take the two out of the overflow plus the five in the inventory. Uh, so let's put me at 11. And then all the class types, they're pretty much balanced. And we can kind of take that issue out of the uh, the rank up equation and just start ranking up other champions for, for uh, other reasons. And there we go. Now Mega Red is my second ever rank two six star champion who, uh, yeah, will, like I said, go to rank three. I'm going to need to get this tier five mutant catalyst first and also uh, a bunch more six stones as this guy it's sig level 20 it, it's just not enough he's not going to be as powerful as a uh, as a rank 5 5 star um, even if he gets that additional rank so um, definitely need more sigs but uh, he will he'll eventually get there I might even put it in the title of this video like oh mega reds going rank 2 or something like that uh, even though at the start of this video I didn't know what I'd be doing today I didn't know if I'd be taking Omega red up and I kind of just wanted to take you guys through through that process and kind of explain that, yeah, you know, sometimes we have these ideas in our heads uh, for which champions to rank up, but I also think it's a good idea to, to kind of be flexible and uh, allow, uh, allow yourself to kind of adapt to what the game is throwing your way, even for something that seems so minor, like just managing your catalysts. Um, it's pretty important. I, I'd say it's way more important than most people think. A lot of people think it's only important to, you know, get lucky out of the crystals or, uh, uh, you know, improve your, your fighting ability and things like that. There's other ways to um, kind of steer your progression in this game. Uh, and one of those ways is, like I said, to adapt to what Kabam is throwing your way. And I know this specific example might not apply to everybody in the game, but for a period of time, I would say end game players were being thrown more tier 4 class catalyst crystals than they knew what to do with them. Uh, they were just included in a whole bunch of bonus offers and people were just kind of sick of seeing them there. They are saying like, no, this is not what we want, Kabam kind of thing. Uh, and then uh, Kabam came out with this trade-in system where you can open up a bunch of crystals and if you have uh, too many of one type, you can you can trade them in for the chance of getting some other catalyst and a lot of people uh maybe not a lot of people but some people uh took advantage of this for sure and some of those people who had an abundance of tier 4 class catalyst crystals well they might be hurting on them now and this can happen with any resource in the game so it's always important to to kind of uh take a look around and just kind of see what you need to do in order to make sure they're using your resources to the fullest I did say that I want to burn at least four more tier two alphas in this video though, so let's go ahead and take care of that and uh, let's start ranking up Mojo. I don't think I'm going to take him all the way up to rank five today, but I'm going to get him to at least rank four right now, which is going to take some gold and ISO because this guy is rank one, level one. Ah, let's get started. All right, rank one, level 25, rank two, level 35. Hope I have enough tier 1 alphas for this. Alright, rank 3, level 45. And I'm actually short on the basics, but I can hit up the glory store, so we're fine. Uh, I haven't bought anything uh, with this this round of uh, glory store resets, so uh, I'll just pick up one for right now. But uh, yeah, I'll probably pick up more than one. And there we go, now Mojo is rank 4 and level 55. What an ugly looking creature Mojo is, man. Uh, I love it. Uh, I'm sure the people who have to fight this guy in, uh, in war as the, as the boss, especially with flow wars right now, uh, I'm sure they're disgusted at this, but um, I don't know, man. I think Mojo's super cool. I just, uh, you know, I, I have Awakening Gems, so I can awaken him, but I don't want to do it until... Uh, I know that I'm going to invest some Sig stones into him, otherwise I'll wait and see and, you know, maybe I'll awaken him naturally before I even use the gem. So now the the important catalyst, at least, I have another eight days to use them. Uh, another eight days where, man, I, I'm going to need to get some tier four basics. I'm probably going to pick up a lot of tier four basics out of the glory store, actually. And, you know, maybe, maybe even have to rush some content 
uh, to get myself some tier 4 basics, some, some of the monthly event quests, things like that, because I do not want to let these things go to waste. So, I'll have to figure that out, but uh, I've got 8 days to do that. That's plenty of time, right? Actually, let me just double check. Do 6 stars... Um, do these guys use tier 4 basics? They do. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to have to figure something out to make sure that uh, I can actually use all those tier 2 alphas. Oh, boy. will probably be good, though, because taking a 5-star champion to rank 5 does not require any tier 4 basics. Uh, but then I also have to consider the tier 1 alphas. There's always, there's always something, man. Always some sort of... Uh, Tetris game that you gotta play with the catalyst in your inventory to make sure it all works out but like I said man it's important so that things don't expire and so that uh, you know what you're actually playing for doesn't go to waste so uh, yeah, I'll figure that out another time but uh, we've got eight days and this level up event I'd say we did a pretty good job of uh, leveling up or <laughs> taking advantage of it basically man I'll, I'll, I'll get plenty of rewards from this um, this is not going to be enough for the uh, for the top rank rewards or anything, but uh, this will give me that top one at ten percent. Which, uh, sure, some of these may look outdated, but hey, I'll still take it. Uh, all right, that is, I think, going to do it for this video. Just kind of wanted to, uh, you know, walk you guys through my process that I go through. Uh, all the time, and maybe don't always spell it out in so much detail about, you know, why I choose to rank up the champions that I do, uh, especially in the situations like this where I didn't have an exact reason to rank up any of the champions that I did, uh, it's just I've got these resources and what do I do with them? Well, this is what I do with them. And I even got my second ever rank 2 6 star out of it, so I think that's pretty cool, man. So plenty more rank ups coming soon, but I'm out of here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.